family has five children. The probability of having a girl is one half. What is the probability of having exactly three girls and two boys? Now your first task is to recognize that this is a binomial. There are two possible outcomes, girl, boy. You're doing it five times. Each time you have a trial, that's having a child. The probability of having a girl is one half. And if you let x be the number of girls, you're looking for when x is equal to three. Now you can just as easily let x be the number of boys and work with x equal two. You just have to keep in mind that which is which. So I'll work with girls. It would work the same either way. Now the binomial distribution is given by this formula, combination of n things taken x at a time, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. So all we have to do is evaluate this at x equal to 3 when n is 5, x is 3, p is 1 half, the exponent of 1 half is the 3 from the bottom part of the combination. Then you've got to say 1 minus 1 half, well 1 minus 1 half is still 1 half. And then you say 5 minus 3 and you get 2. In other words, the exponents 3 and 2 always add up to the top number in the combination. And now we have to do that calculation. Well, that's easy enough. That's 5 factorial, I hope you've practiced this enough that this is second nature by now, over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And then, you normally can't do this, but when the bases are the same, they're both a half, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, you can save yourself a little bit of work by realizing that that's 1 half to the 3 plus 2, 1 half to the 5th power. You don't have to notice that, but it certainly makes life easier. Now, if you calculate this on the calculator, and I'll show you how. Now there are numerous ways of doing this, but the way that I would calculate uh, a combination of five things taken two at a time is this. That's five factorial over the product of three factorial and two factorial. So what I would do is I would calculate five and then go over and hit the n factorial button. That tells you that five factorial is 120. And then I would divide by, and then you've got two factorial equals. Now at this point I've only divided by 2 factorial. I also need to divide by 3 factorial. So I do the second division divided by 3 factorial equals. So the final result is 10. So combination of five things taken two at a time turns out to be 10. Now have a, having calculated that five, a combination of five things taken three at a time is 10, I'm left with having to multiply 10 by the quantity 1 half to the fifth. At this point I can go back to my calculator again and do 1 half to the fifth and then multiply that result by 10. So now that I'm back to my calculator, I wanted to raise 1 half, that's 1 divided by 2, which of course is just 0.5. I want to raise that to the fifth power. So I'll go over here and hit the x to the y button, choose the fifth power, and hit equals to. And that comes out to be 0 0.03125. And remember, I wanted to multiply that by that binomial coefficient, which was 10. So it's 10 times that. And I end up with 0 0.3125 if I'm carrying it to four decimal places. If they wanted it just three decimal places, of course, I could round that to 0.313. But if I'm going to take it to three decimal places, I would get 0.3125. So, I now know that to four decimal places, the probability of getting exactly three girls is 0.3125. And like I said, if I wanted to round it off to three decimal places, that would be 0.313. You just have to make sure you know where you want to round it before you start.